So you want to be a part of a church and you see the benefits of it and want to raise your children in a God-centered environment. And you also see the importance of the church in the life of a Christian based on what the Bible teaches. But what about the fact that so many churches are full of hypocrites. People acting like Christians when you know they're not, showing one face in church and a whole another on social. So you find yourself asking, should I still go to church even though it's full of hypocrites? Well, Jesus actually answers this question for us in the Bible and gives us some insight into what we can expect and how we're supposed to act based on what's going to happen. And it's those words of Christ that I'd like to share with you here in today's video. So thank you for tuning in. I'm Aaron J. Daigle, author and international speaker and I'm pumped to have you here on the channel, the number one place online for Christ followers to grow deeper in God and go further for God. So what exactly did Jesus say about church and hypocrites and going and whether we should or shouldn't go because of all these hypocrites? Well, I found three answers from the Bible. The first is that if you annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm, then God will annihilate all the hypocrites in your church and you can go there without them. And two other notes is that if you subscribe and turn on the notifications bell, he'll do it for you before this Sunday. Okay, that's not at all what Jesus said, but I do appreciate the love here on the channel. What he did say comes from Matthew chapter 13, and it's the parable of the wheat and the weeds. So let's look at it together. It says, here is another story Jesus told. The kingdom of heaven is like a farmer who planted good seed in his field. But that night as the workers slept, his enemy came and planted weeds among the wheat, then slipped away. When the crop began to grow and produce grain, the weeds also grew. The farmer's workers went to him and said, Sir, the field where you planted that good seed is full of weeds. Where did they come from? An enemy has done this, the farmer exclaimed. Should we pull out the weeds, they asked? No, he replied. You'll uproot the wheat if you do. Let both grow together until the harvest. Then I will tell the harvesters to sort out the weeds, tie them into bundles and burn them and to put the wheat in the barn. So what does this farming story about wheat and weeds and good seeds and an enemy and a farmer all have to do with hypocrites in church? Well, that's what the disciples were asking. They said, you know, Jesus, we don't really understand this parable. Can you just tell us plainly what's going on? So when they ask him this question later on in that same chapter, he explains it to him and this is what he says. He says, I am the farmer, the field is the world, and the good seeds are the Christians. Now the weeds are the people of the world, and the enemy who planted them is the devil. Then he says the harvest is the end of the world, and that the harvesters are the angels. And that just as the weeds are removed and bundled up and thrown in the fire, that at the end of the world, that God would separate, removing from his group of Christians those who are actually worldly, hypocrites and would send them to hell while then taking the Christians, the true church, into heaven with himself. So how does this apply to us today? What he's saying is that inside of his church, he would have legit Christians and he would also have people who were fake. But that if you, me, or anyone else tried to separate them and call them out and make a distinction right now, that those who you uproot from the world would also be affecting those who are rooted in Christ and you would uproot their system as well. Instead, he says to allow the two to grow together. So be a part of a church, even though there's hypocrites, because there are solid Christians there, and eventually God will weed out who is who. But until then, he says, let the two grow up together. Therefore, according to Jesus, it is okay to be part of a church that hypocrites go to. In fact, he said, expect this. There will be people who were fake with false motives and ulterior agendas among you. Now to further this thought, I do want to share that we don't see the world the way it is. We see the world through our own perception. And sometimes the very people we think are hypocrites are just struggling with something that we don't struggle with, whereas in our own lives, we struggle with something different. Does that make us hypocrites? No. Therefore, it doesn't always mean the people we assume to be hypocrites are as well. This is why the Bible says for us to make allowance for each other's faults. In other words, we are to come up with excuses as to why someone else is doing something wrong. We typically judge ourselves through our motives and we judge others through their actions. In other words, we see what someone else does and so we form an opinion based on their actions that we can observe. Whereas what we do, there's a reason why we do it. Even if it's not the right thing or even if we're struggling, we understand from our perspective why we are acting that particular way. So we may Make allowance for our own faults. The Bible's telling us to do the same thing for others. But that's simply speaking to when we think someone may be a hypocrite and we're unsure, just simply saying that it's not up to us to make that judgment call. But if there are people in your church who legitimately are hypocrites, 
then the Bible says don't be surprised by it. Jesus said that this would happen and that he himself would allow it to happen. So as a general rule of thumb, not being a part of the church because there are hypocrites in it would be like saying we don't want cash because there's counterfeit bills. So thank you for letting me add value to your life. Remember to check out the books I've published for you from the link in the description below and make sure you've already subscribed to be a part of the community.